only thing to do at the end of Sky Chase is to spin dash at the edge of the screen as the timer is about to hit 205. Alright, Wing Fortress, fairly tricky one, pretty damn tricky one, so there's a couple of different ways of doing this, but I'm going to go over the fast way. As the level starts, walk to the far right of the plane wing so that you have as much leniency as possible with this first spin dash. We're trying to get slope glitch off of this uh, zipper here, so do a really fast spin dash, charge up, release it as soon as you see Tails' plane start to descend. And as soon as you, your feet make contact with the zipper, do two small spin dashes, uh, one tap spin dashes, in the space of six frames. If you've done it fast enough, this takes into account both the, the timing you start doing the first spin dash and the end of the window before the second spin dash is allowed. Yeah, if you've done it correctly, Knuckles will have stopped moving and he's teetering like this, and you have to hold right jump to start accelerating again. Jump down here, glide. While you're in the slope glitch state, you can glide to partially go inside the floors, and while you're partially inside the floors, you can roll to be zipped in the opposite direction to the way that you rolled. You want to do that by rolling to the left while in that corner, and zip you out to the right here. Once you're out here, you jump up there. Once you're up here, you're going to jump and do a super glide off this box. So you land up here. Once you're up here, do a little jump and then a big jump. If you, if you faffed around after collecting those first speed cheese, you might want to collect the second speed cheese because this is all on a time limit for when the speed cheese run out and later when the invulnerability runs out. So do a little jump to accelerate and a big jump here to land on this slope at this particular angle. This is a very lenient angle, like all of this angle seems to be the same as long as you land on it generally in the same place. And you're holding right all the way up here with your slope glitch. I pause to look for this well, anywhere fairly close to here, just the frame or two before you're about to go completely off the top of the screen, and then I do a full jump, hold jump for much longer than you think, um, and that should land you on this slope heading downwards as soon as you land, so I pause to make sure that I react to where I land, as soon as you land, do a uh, medium jump off of this slope, or full jump even off that slope, and that slope angle will send you down into this, and we're running across with this angle until we hit the point where this red ramp comes up, and that's where we're going to do another jump. Full jump, and then as soon as you see the hook on the screen, hold left. Oh, and actually you want to fall into this lower section here. And as soon as you're touching the ground in this lower section, hold roll, you roll into this hidden invulnerability. As soon as you've collected that, walk back out to the left, turn around, jump and glide, and you'll be in this floor. So you're halfway in this floor, like this right now. And in this wall, and you do the same thing as you did near the start of the level, you do a little roll by holding holding left to get a little bit of speed and then rolling. And that will zip you to the right through that wall. As soon as you zip through that wall, start holding right and jump out. Grab this hook. All of that, ever since you collect the invulnerability, you have to get all of this first try and really cleanly. Otherwise, you'll run out of time with the invulnerability. You need the maximum time with the invulnerability when you reach the boss fight. So, let's go from here again. Gonna land on the slope, jump up there, jump there, hold left, roll into that, glide into that, roll through there, hit the hook. Right, so we're on the hook, wait for the hook to get to its top, then jump off the hook, bounce off the top of the chicken, and land on the ground after the chicken. Don't land on top of this chicken's object, otherwise you lose slope glitch, and don't land past here, otherwise you fall down, otherwise obviously. Run out from there. We're looking to jump from, specifically, uh, this around this frame or one or two frames after this in a specific spot you do a full jump and holding right with the, with the speed cheese um, in order to land on this slope in the correct spot so you have this downward slope glitch going into the floor as soon as you run into the floor at this amount don't keep holding right or else you'll zip off to the wrong direction and fail start holding left to zip off to this direction you want to zip far enough that you get into the boss arena and trigger the boss Oh, I haven't seen that actually before. So, hopefully you shouldn't have risen out of the floor. So you want to be far enough that you'll be halfway past the line of this boss arena. Unfortunately, the camera won't have caught up with you yet, and you don't want to overshoot. So, once you've triggered the boss, you zip back to the left, and go to the left of this little object thing in the ground, in order to go back into it, and it pushes you down into the position you need to be further down in the ground, and then you go back to the boss, which is still currently spawning, and you need to spawn the boss as fast as possible. So it's better to do it 
immediately there, then go back to push yourself down back in the ground while he's spawning. And if you've done that all like first try incorrectly, the boss should appear, move towards you on the left if you stand in this exact spot here. You can do it on the right as well, either way. And you will have enough invulnerability left to get all eight hits on the boss while in the roof inside it. Um, if you don't, if you know that you won't have enough time left for your invulnerability, because there's really not any wriggle room, like if you, if you have not zipped through that wall after the invulnerability by rolling straight away, if you do that second try or something, you could get six or seven hits on the boss, and then spam jump to fall out of the boss arena from the center. If you're standing in the center, kind of where the boss spawns, and spam jump while you're in the wall in that position, you drop down into the boss arena, and then you can get the last couple of boss hits normally. Otherwise, you'll get hit by the boss without invulnerability, so you'd be up here, be stuck up here, because there's an invisible wall, and have to kill yourself and start the entire level all over again by jumping over here. Uh, so instead, let's not do that and actually get all the boss hits correctly by doing that. Once the boss is exploding, zip all the way to the right. You'll see Knuckles out here. Wait until a particular music cue of, I think, there in the music, if you kind of heard where that was, and then do a full jump. And he will land somewhere you want to land, like as close to where he's standing now as possible for the quickest time. As long as you don't jump too early, the kill play isn't still there anyway. So, if you're not, if you don't get the slip which is very first, you fail it like that or something, and you want to carry on without doing, without going for it again. Well, A, you can actually go all the way over to the right hand side if the zipper is still spawned. Spin dash here, and try again for the slip pitch. Like that, and go get slip pitch again. But, if you don't want that, if you, or if you've missed the zipper entirely and the zipper isn't there anymore and you're all the way over here, you carry on with doing the level in this fashion. So, this is the Crescent route. The Crescent has done a lot of research on this route, it was a route before then. You can instead spin dash down here and start doing the level more normally. Um, so holding right through here, we not want to kill this chicken as Knuckles for this to work. We want to... We're doing some memory manipulation in the background here. Um, in order to get the boss uh, in a particular memory slot that allows us to spin dash on top of him. Because we won't have the invulnerability in that same spot in the boss fight. We'll just be sitting there spin dashing on him instead. We can't normally do. So, we're killing that chicken as we go past. There, kill the chicken, run off here. It's important that you go through this section fairly quickly um, without grabbing these bars here um, so that more platforms don't spawn. Oh, you can actually grab that wall and survive that. <laughs> that should probably work well. Come up here, run into this fan. Don't spin dash, just continue to hold right to run through the fan with the iframes. Jump on top of these platforms, jump and glide here. Oh, oops, all there. Jump and glide along all of this section. Until you're past that zipper, then you can land. Land without any dust. If the zipper is still on screen, it's important that you land without any dust by just letting go of glide without just gliding into the ground until it finishes. And come up here, turn around, spin dash and jump into that hook there. Down this hook, jump up on here. As soon as you land on the zipper, do a, do a one-tap spin dash, basically. And you will have slope glitch while coming through that wall on that zipper. Um, so now you have slope glitch here. Jump at these rings, land in this wall, don't land on the zipper, land to the right of the zipper. I just landed on the zipper, didn't I? Yeah, oh great. Now you don't have slow glitch anymore. Spin dash, get slow glitch, jump over the zipper into the wall like that. So, you need to make dust in specific places, as silly as this sounds. Um, now I have to remember where they are. So, this is the first place, just before you're about to come out of this wall. Hold left to screech to make some dust. Jump up here. Uh, jump and glide here to make dust in this spot. And then jump over this ring and glide there to make dust in that spot. And roughly in those places, it's not it's slightly linear. Um, if you've made dust in all three of those spots, then by the time you get to the boss arena, the slope glitch being awkward, the boss should allow you to spin down shot. Like that. And then you get those same eight hits in the same way, but with spin dash. And then hold left after you release your spin dash to be in position. 
Oh, too far. If you go too far, then Knuckles jumps off the plane. So. Um, but yeah, that's the other way of doing that. It is much slower than the other... the first way I showed, though. But it is uh, far less awkward with the, the really tight timing window you need to do with the vulnerability and such. If, you, if for some reason you need to fight the boss normally, if you lose low pitch or something, stand on the left-hand side to make him move to the left, and then the platforms and move to the left uh, to get more hits in on this first cycle. And then not get a beating the boss normally. Right. If you notice you can't spin dash on top of the boss, you still have time to mash jump and fall down into the boss arena before he hits you. Um, and then fight him normally, which is better than having to kill yourself and restart the entire level over again, so why not? Alright, here we go. Death Egg Zone. Spin dash and jump into the roof and hold right into you. Spin dash, charge spin dash under him. Slightly to the left side of him so you're not too far on the right near the spikes. You get four hits. And then let go. Jump over him. Wait for him to stop spinning and do a little hop and jump under him. You crash the game if you hit him on the same frame that he tilts forwards. So try not to, I guess. Spin dash and spin dash and jump into the roof. And here we go, it's the half hour. So there's a couple of different ways to do this fight. None of them save much time, as opposed to like Sonic's 12 which saves loads. So those first two hits are going to be the same either way. And there's the third hit. You can run, start running right and jump into him. The, the legs will kill you and the flame will kill you, kill you, so these jumps are very specific. So if you're trying to get the fastest possible one, which only saves like two or three seconds, um, after that third hit you run back to the right and do a jump over the flame and get that hit. But I'm just going to show the ninth here, I think. Get these first two hits, he becomes vulnerable there. Once his feet are like fully on the on the ground, that's when he first becomes vulnerable. First hit, second hit, wait for his second foot to step forward, hold left, jump into the bottom there, wait for the next one to fall. Do the same three times. After you've done the third hit, get rebounded back a little bit further, so you jump over the flame. Hit him over the flame. Go and stand right next to his heel. Jump three times. Oh, and you should get the third the third hit there as well. So normally while I'm jumping into the back of him, I am holding left the entire time for all of the hits. There we go. Jump. Boom. Jump. Went up to his heel. Spin dash to the far right side of the screen. Wait for this target to start flashing. Move out to this little... I use in between these two golden poles in the background, so I'm standing almost exactly centered with those. If you're any further to the right, the foot will kill you. If you're any further to the left, you won't be able to get this second second hit here, there. Um, so, if you're actually further to the left, you can just get the second hit easier by holding right into him a little bit as you jump up, but that's riskier. Move out to the middle of the two golden pillars, jump. If you need to move back into the right a little bit further, jump, and then charge a spin dash. So, jump, move to the right, jump, spin dash, and then spin dash again. Mash spin dash as much as possible for the last spin dash, so that you exit as fast as possible. And that is an 11 one hits, but saves only two seconds for me. So, I'm not going to explain it. I don't recommend going for it. That's good enough for me. I'm, uh, I'm tired. <laughs> Been talking solidly for three and a half hours. Time to edit it all. Whee! Good luck with your knucklesing. Show those Sonic Runners who's boss, because the Knuckles Run is faster than the Sonic Run. Thanks for hanging around. Guys in the chat.